The South Korean Army has a huge incentive to include some of the world's leading artillery in their arsenal, their neighbors in the north. This explains why one of their howitzers is considered to be one of the world's most powerful. For decades now, this weapon has been at the forefront of artillery worldwide, which explains why other countries have been so keen to purchase large orders of their own. This is the K9 Thunder Howitzer. Let's take a look at what makes it so popular. The development program of this 155mm 52 caliber self-propelled howitzer started in 1989. In the 1980s, South Korea relied heavily on both the K-55 howitzer, a variant of the M109A2, and the M107 self-propelled gun to defend against a possible attack from its northern neighbors. The existing systems were effective in their own right, but they were decades old, meaning they needed to be upgraded. And most crucially, they also had shorter firing ranges than North Korea's M1978 Koksan artillery system. A proposal to refit the K-55 was rejected by the Republic of Korea Armed Forces in favor of the development of a new artillery system. The primary designer of what would become the K-9 Thunder was the Agency for Defense Development. Key requirements for this new howitzer were that it feature an anti-air weapon, preferably the M61 Vulcan, and the ability to cross rivers. As the ADD had no experience in developing such a weapon, it took seven years to produce the first prototype. In 1996, it was developed, and the new artillery system was tested. The contract for the system was then awarded to Samsung Aerospace Industries by the Korean government at the end of 1998. The Republic of Korea Army received the first production batch from its primary contractor a year later. Now, the system is developed by the company Hanwha Tequin. The Thunder's platform is made of all-welded steel armor protection material with a maximum thickness of 19 millimeters. This gives it protection from the firing of small arms and artillery shell fragments. The howitzer has a crew of five, a commander, driver, gunner, assistant gunner, and loader. The driver is at the front of the hull on the left, with the engine to his right. The turret with the artillery gun system is found at the rear of the hull. The commander and gunner are seated on the right side of the turret. A single door is located on the left side of the turret, and there is also a large door at the rear of the hull that opens to the right, which lets the crew load ammunition. The design uses a modular azimuth position system, an automatic fire control system, a powered gun elevation and depression, and a turret traverse system. The hydro-pneumatic suspension system gives the K9 high ground clearance and mobility across different terrains. The main weapon on the Thunder is its 155mm 52 caliber gun. It has an impressive burst rate of fire of 3 rounds per 15 seconds and a maximum rate of fire of 6 to 8 rounds a minute for 3 minutes. The sustained rate of fire is 2 to 3 rounds a minute for 1 hour. This howitzer is also designed to meet the up-to-date tactical concept of shoot and scoot. This is when artillery fires at a target and then immediately moves away from the location from where the shots were fired. The gun can fire a standard M107 high-explosive projectile for a range of 18 kilometers. For the HE rocket-assisted projectile with unit charge of five zones, this is extended to 30 kilometers. It can also fire a K307 projectile with a modular charge of six zones for an even greater range of over 40 kilometers. The gun's firing is controlled by the onboard fire control equipment. This information is transmitted through a data digital radio link or voice communications. The automatic loading system places the projectiles onto the ammunition tray ready for fire. The Thunder can then open fire within 30 seconds at a standout position or within 60 seconds during movement. The upgrade seen on the K9A1 upgrade has an automatic fire control system that includes a text-based DOS system, graphical windows system, electronic time data loader, and digital map. Even though on-time target firing may be accomplished by several howitzers simultaneously, the K9 is able to efficiently accomplish the same task by simply changing its fire data. This howitzer alone can produce three times as much as the M109A2 155mm SPH in firing capability. On top of its main weaponry, one 12.7mm M2 heavy machine gun is mounted on the right side roof turret and to the forward part of the commander's cupola, used as a self-protection armament or as an anti-aircraft machine gun. 
The howitzer is supplemented by a K-10 automatic ammunition resupply vehicle built on the K-9 platform. The K-10 is a fully tracked vehicle that supports the main artillery battery. It can automatically transfer 12 rounds per minute through a conveyor belt. The K-9 Thunder is powered by a German MTU MT881 KA500 diesel engine, which gives it 1,000 horsepower. It's coupled to an Allison automatic transmission X1100 5A3 with four forward and two reverse gears. The transmission is based on that seen in the M1 Abrams main battle tank, but with enhancements. The K9 is fitted with a hydropneumatic suspension that has six dual rubber road wheels on each side, with the drive sprocket at the front, idler at the rear, and three track return rollers. The track is of the double pin type with replaceable rubber pads. The K9 can run at a maximum road speed of 67 kilometers per hour, with a maximum cruising range of 360 kilometers. There have been significant improvements to the original K9 since its launch in the 90s. The K9A1 variant is equipped with enhancements such as an automatic fire control system, driver's night periscope, and auxiliary power system for enhanced efficiency. The improved K9A1 provides increased range, fast fire rate, and higher mobility during the day and at night. Hanwha proposed a K9A2, another variant of the K9 howitzer, for the UK's mobile fire platform program aimed at upgrading the artillery capabilities of the British Army. The K9A2 is expected to enhance the firing rate, automatic ammunition loading, and other capabilities of the artillery. The development program of these units is being implemented by Hanwha Defense and the Korean government-owned Research and Development Institution, Agency for Defense Development. The proposed finished product for the UK program will feature mine protection kits, unmanned turret, and composite rubber tracks. Hanwha's robotic K-10 ammunition resupply vehicle will also be added to provide an automated resupply capability. There is also a Turkish variant of the Thunder, the T-155 Fertina. The major equipment retained includes the gun system, automatic ammunition feeding system, and the diesel engine. However, the Turkish version incorporates considerable changes in turret design, chassis, navigation system, and electronic systems. The first batch of eight T-155s was built in South Korea under a license agreement with Samsung Tequin, while the remaining batch of over 300 units is being produced at the 1st Army Maintenance Center Command at Apazari in Turkey. Standard equipment of the original K-9 Thunder includes a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear protection system, heater, internal and external communication system, and a manual fire suppression system. The Thunder also has a Honeywell Azimuth Position System, Automatic Fire Control System, Powered Gun Elevation and Depression, and Turret Traverse System. With all of these features and its powerful main weapon, it's easy to see why this howitzer has proved itself to be so popular over the years. What do you think about the K9 Thunder? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.